On the mound for the Marlins, it is Sandy Alcantara. This is his fifth start of the season, coming off a no decision against the Phillies. Marlins got their first walk-off win that night. Well, one guy to watch out for in this lineup is at the plate right now, Rafael Devers. Here, Sandy's got him set up 0-2, and he goes 99 miles an hour. Actually split the plate and just blew it by him with two strikes. <laughs> there you go. Tanner Hawk moments away from his first big league pitch. What a moment for this young man. Yeah, you know he's feeling it. So Aguilar next 295 with six home runs. 3-2 yes. and down he goes. That was 96 miles an hour. Quick inning to start his big league career. I'm going to bring up Bobby Dalbeck. This kid is off to an unbelievable start. Sandy kicks, fires, and that pitch is in on the hand. Swung on a miss, strike three, and a very quick and easy good inning of work for Sandy Alcantara. That's his second strikeout, and he got the side in order. One, two, three. Nothing, nothing game in the bottom of the fourth in Miami. Struck out again. That one ate him up. He fans for the second time, and that is six in the book for the youngster. You know, the range of his fastball has gone from a, a, that 92 up to as high as what, 96? That had great movement on it, 92 miles an hour. Well, good at bat here for Miguel Rojas. He has a lot of them. This is the eighth pitch of the A.B. The two men on. And he struck him out. Made a terrific pitch. Rojas barking at himself. Seven punch outs for Hawk, and after four, zero, zero. Sandy had five innings and three hits. A walk and four strikeouts to this point. Rafael Devers, but here he comes up empty, 98 miles an hour, an elevated fastball from Sandy. That's five strikeouts. Yeah, maybe saving a little something for the third trip through the lineup. He's fan five so far tonight. So a couple of base runners here for Jackie. Here's pitch number 90. Stung the other way, and that's going to get down and keep on going all the way to the wall. That's going to score Xander Bogarts in for the first run tonight. Down to second, Jackie Bradley Jr. Vasquez into third, and the Red Sox have a one nothing lead finally against Miami. Jackie takes that fastball almost out of the glove the other way. I'll yeah. tell you, when Jackie does that, he looks like a real good hitter. Right down the left field line. That is money. That ball, too, is probably about three inches off the outside part of the plate. He covered it. Bogart scores. Vasquez to third. And Jackie in a second base. So the deadlock is broken. Pitcher's duel tonight. Red Sox leading one to nothing. Trying to pad the lead as Rafael Devers leads off. First pitch swinging. Drives one to deep right. That ball is off the wall on the fly. Played back in by Matt Joyce. It'll be an easy leadoff double for Raphael Devers, his first hit of the night. He's now one for four. And that'll be it for Blyer. We expected to see the Marlins bring the right-hander in for Bogarts either way. But now uh, it's even more vital. James Hoyt into the ball game. A leadoff double for Raphael Devers against Richard Blyer. 19th game for Hoyt this year, a 159 ERA. We keep telling you this has been his role coming in when there are runners on base. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 3. And 1 for his last 28. Boy, does he need a big hit. Play on. That's going to go off into the outfield. Devers is up and running. He is heading into 30. Dives in there. And he's safe. And the Red Sox have a man at third base and a misfire by Hoyt. He didn't have that big a lead either. They were going to no, put it on. It's chancing something that's unnecessary. What was he, two feet off the bat? Right. Just hanging on to that bag with the toes and the 2 2 from Hoyt. Swing, little flare, center field, charging out of Marte. Down for a base hit. That'll bring in the run. Rafi Devers scores. Not hit hard, but it was hit in the right spot. And the Red Sox lead it 2 0. Yeah, he hit it like he threw it pretty <laughs> much. Same eh? thing. Oh, You're totally. going to get the same anal analyzing out of me. He hit it like he threw it. And he crunched them to the end of the bat. Stayed back as long as he could, flicked it out there. Just waiting to see if it's going to drop in in front of that center fielder. And it did. So the Red Sox with just a little bit of wiggle room now on top 2 0 on the RBI single by Vasquez, his 15th RBI. All smiles after that. Ryan Brazier to pop into the ball game. He becomes the second hurler. Chisholm has gone 0 for 2. He'll knock that one pretty well hit. Munoz on the run Ooh, and a oh. leaping play and into the fence. He held on. Took a shot there. He is slow to rise, but a fine running, leaping catch. And Munoz hangs on. Johan Quezada, his major league debut, was on Saturday against the Phillies. And finally, Quezada puts away Munoz for the first out tonight. Now at least nine to get through Verdugo. Payoff pitch. 
Ground ball. Is this it? Rojas, Chisholm, over to first, a double play. No runs, and we'll go to the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins trail two to nothing. So now it is up to Matt Barnes coming out of the bullpen. Marlins have been held to three hits by the Red Sox pitching staff. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball. He struck him out, and that does it. Tanner Hawk becomes the first Red Sox starter to win his major league debut since 2015. Red Sox in the win column tonight, 2 0.